I would like to show you how to replace the weather stripping on this older Marvin stationary panel on an in-swing door configuration. The homeowner had reported water infiltration here at the corners. As you can see, the weather stripping needs to be replaced. Just like with any other products out there, the weather stripping on the doors is just like the windshield wipers on your car. Eventually, you're going to have to replace it. As you can see, we got an extreme weather condition here where this door gets pounded with sun in the morning. A few components that you're going to need is a caulking gun, some sort of hammer, some silicone, some cutters, a thick bladed putty knife that has been sharpened and a utility knife. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. We need to start by removing this side jam parting stop and I do that by using a thick sharpened putty knife that has a nice edge to it. Sometimes these pop off with just one hit so be prepared for it to come at you. I'm going to place this in this little space here between the parting stop and the frame. So we got it sharpened, take a little hammer, now that we got it started, we're going to an angle like that, and then we'll continue to pull that off. Okay, we got that removed. And don't be afraid about denting this. If you hit this hard enough to where this dents in, you can go ahead and take a hammer and you can straighten that back out if you need to. And as you can see here, the weather stripping shrunk a little bit too. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this up, and I'm gonna fill all this with some silicone so no water can get in there. Go ahead and get this one removed. Just like that, we'll go ahead and remove that one. And if you need to replace the top piece of weather stripping, that one comes off in the same manner. So the reason why we're not changing out the weather stripping that's on the frame, you would, these are screwed, these panels are screwed in through the frame. We would actually have to cut all of those screws off to remove this panel to replace that. It's not necessary because we can replace this weather stripping and we're gonna make a continuous seal around this anyway. So let's go ahead and clean out the dust. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and inject this. Don't wanna put way, you don't wanna to put too much because you don't want it to go inside and bleed out on the inside. And we're gonna cover this weather stripping too because all that's gonna be covered with that parting stop. I'll go ahead and tool that in there with my finger. And as a precaution, I'm gonna go ahead and do a bead across here too. And clean this up with some alcohol and some water mixed. And just because this is so messy, I'm gonna go ahead and take some tape. Okay, now that I got that masked off, I'm gonna go ahead and put a bead in here. There you go, it gives you a nice clean look. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and replace this V796 weather stripping. Take off these old ones here. Take the putty knife, that little fin there. Pull it straight out, line that up at the top, and I'm gonna to push it in all the way. I wanna make sure that there's no gap here. When we get to the edge here, if it's too long, I just take my cutters, cut it right along that edge there, just like that. It's important to note that this has a little lip here that goes on the inside of the wood here, and this little edge here goes behind this little edge here. I like to start at the top. I go in this way first, I make sure I'm tight. And then I'm going to push this way so that snaps in. And I'm going to go hand over hand until it pops in all the way to the very end. As I was saying, if there's a slight gap up here, don't be afraid to take a putty knife. Obviously, put something down there to, put, to protect the, uh, your seal here. And then you can just lift up on this, lift straight up, and this piece will slide up. Well, that's how I replace the weather stripping on this older Marvin stationary panel and prevent water infiltration. And if you found this video informative, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.